Welcome to Heath Rouse Barbecue. On today's episode of Shooting the Q, I'm going to show you one of our favorite game day foods, smoked buffalo chicken dip. Let's get started. All right, to keep our smoked buffalo chicken dip really simple, you can either smoke a whole chicken at home like I did. I kept it simple and just used a little bit of my chicken rub and a little bit of garlic jalapeno because those are the same two rubs that I'm going to incorporate into my dish here. I didn't measure it out. I just know I'm probably guessing I got two and a half cups of meat if I had to take an educated guess. If you want to keep it really simple, go buy a rotisserie chicken and shred it. It's kind of up to you how easy, how simple you want it to be. I'm kicking this dish up a notch. I made some homemade ranch. I'm sure everybody knows how to make a homemade ranch from the pack. And then I'm using truff hot sauce. It's infused with black truffles. It's really good. I like it here at home. So I'm going to use it in my dish. The first thing I want to do is get my cream cheese out. Now I've had this laid out for about an hour to kind of soften up at room temperature. It makes it a little easier to work with. I'm going to add, the, about, like I said, two and a half cups of chicken. And I'm gonna put this recipe down below in the description as well. About a cup of ranch dressing, you can use out of a bottle or make homemade if you want, up to you. Three quarters of a cup of truff hot sauce. This is one of the most simple dishes you can make on the grill. And then I'm gonna use about half my cheese, which is about a cup. I've got two cups in this bowl. Now I'm gonna put a sprinkle of my chicken rub for a little more flavor. Say about a tablespoon or so. I'm gonna do the same thing on this garlic jalapeno once I open it. I'm gonna get this mixed up and get it into a cast iron dish. I'll be right back. All right, I've got my lodge pan here sprayed down with a little bit of cooking oil to keep it non-stick. I've got my buffalo chicken dip mixed up. You can see the consistency here. Now, if you want to cut your hot sauce back to a half a cup, if you like it a little less spicy, change it out to whatever you like. We just like a little kick in our kitchen with our garlic jalapeno rub and everything added to it. Now I'm going to get this in my cast iron dish and kind of spread it around, sprinkle it with some more cheese. Now you can put this in a bigger dish or a smaller dish. It just kind of depends on what you want to do. I'm going to keep it kind of thin because we're going to serve it with some chips. Now I'm going to take the remainder of this cheese here. Kind of layer it around. Now, only thing I'm gonna do is take a little bit more of my chicken rub and come back over the top. All right, now that we've got our cheese on top of it and got it poured in our cast iron skillet, I'm gonna get it on the smoker. Our Golden's cast iron grill, we've got it fired up with Royal Oak Lump Charcoal. We use a little tumbleweed to light it up. I've got the place setter in place and the grates in. I'm gonna get this on between 275 and 300 degrees. And I'm gonna let it go 30 to 40 minutes. Remember, it's already cooked. All we're doing is melting the cheeses, low and slow, getting some smoke, more smoke infused in this dish. And if you want to kick it up a notch, you could always smoke your cream cheese and melt your cheeses first and incorporate your cast iron as you go. I just wanted to do it quick and easy because let's face it, I wanna get back to the game. All right, let's get our buffalo chicken dip off the grill and let it cool down before we can eat it. Now, I'm just gonna set it over here on the counter and let it cool down for about 20 minutes. It's been on about 25 minutes. I think it's melted perfect. I'm gonna let it rest. We're back and our smoked buffalo chicken dip is off of our Golden's cast iron grill. You can see that it melted in really good. We put a little more cheese on it while it was cooking just because I'm a cheese guy, I like it cheesy. Now, we got the game on TV. I'm gonna make this quick because I wanna get back in here and check the score. All right, just to recap, I took a whole five pound chicken, I smoked it and mixed it with a cup of ranch dressing, three quarters of a cup of hot sauce. You can scale that back if you want a little less hot sauce. I used truff this time, which is a great hot sauce. It's got a good kick and flavor to it. I sprinkled some of my garlic jalapeno rub and some of my chicken rub in it, the same thing I used on the smoked chicken. You know, a block of cream cheese, mix it all up well, add a little more cheese to it, a little more on top, and there's not but one thing left to do, and that's get in here and try this. I know it's gonna be hot, so I can't wait no longer though. Let me find me a good dipping chip. I like pita chips with these things. 
Man, look at that good cheesy goodness right there. Mmm. Damn it, boy. That right there, excuse my language, is phenomenal. It's got a kick to it. It's spicy. It's got the heat. Hell, I'm going to spread that on a hot dog and probably eat it today during the game. It don't matter. We're going to be dipping wieners in it before it's over with. Remember, if you like what we're doing on our channel, be sure to like, subscribe. Woo! Share it with your friends because I know I do. We'll see you next week shooting the queue. Thanks for joining in.